Hey everybody and welcome back to this video series about how we create this SQL database inside of MySQL. We can see here we, uh, in the previous video we uh, defined the rest of the tables. We have, we have all of the tables right now and, uh, but there is no connection between them. We haven't defined any of the, the foreign keys that connect the tables with each other. And if we take a look at our relational data model here, we can see that we actually do have a lot of foreign keys to connect the tables with each other. So let's start defining those. Uh, first of all, the employee, uh, we have the postal code that references the postal code table up here. So we need to make a foreign key definition. This is the syntax for doing that. And uh, we'll take here postal. We can see here we're defining a foreign key and this is the the column in our table here employee and we are referencing the table postal code up there and in that table we are referencing the postal code id so that's the primary key okay so now they're connected we also have the department id uh, there's a little um, funny thing to that that we need to be aware of because this should be pointing to the department table this foreign key here the problem is that when we are at this point in, in the script, we haven't created the department yet. So I can't uh, make a foreign key up here at this uh, point in time. I first need to define the department. So that's why we, we, will, we will create the foreign key when we have created the department. So let's just move on to the department. It has an employee ID that is referencing the employee. We have the employee table when we are in here. So we can just create this foreign key I'm just going to copy this one here. Just to come up there. So we will reference the employee ID. And this should be employee table. And what field in the employee? That is the employee ID. So now we made a foreign key for the employee that is referencing the employee table and the employee ID. We're going to do the same thing for the location. We also have a location name. Uh, did I just make a little typo there? I think we don't need to have the last name. Well, this is just a good example of when you have a script, uh, you can always change it, you can update it, and then you can run it in PHP MyAdmin or some other front end, and it will clean the database and create it again for you. But here we have the foreign key, employee, and that should be our location. It should reference location table and then the location ID. All right. So now we created two foreign keys, one for employee ID and one for location ID. So now we come to the point where we need to define this department ID foreign key. And a way to do this is by using the alter table uh, command here that we can we can use and we type in employee. This is the table we want to change. Then we can add a foreign key. And we will just see if I can type here. That will be the department ID of the employee, this column here. And that should that should reference the department. and the department ID. So now we added a foreign key to the employee table and we, we are referencing the department table that we have created now and it is referencing the department ID. Okay, now we need to take the project and I think I'm just gonna copy this here. So we need to have a reference to that. We need to have reference to the department ID. It references the department table and the ID. And we need also to have a location. It is referencing the location table and the location ID. So 
that should be in place there. Department ID and location ID. And I think we need to put these back texts and make sure that we spell the name correctly. And finally, we have this many-to-many -many relation here. We need to define the, the foreign keys to make this uh, combined primary key. So first we have the employee. We have this comes from employee table. And that is the ID. Then we have the project. Project ID referencing the project table and the project ID. All right, this should be it for defining our foreign keys there. Um, it is always a good idea to take a last look at your script because uh, these uh, commas, for instance, they need to be very, very precise. And you're just going to get an error when you try to, to run the script. And we can see here, actually, I'm missing one there uh, on this line here. We need to have a comma after each sentence, except the last one, actually. And we're also missing project ID on Workson. And what else do we have? Oh, actually, I don't think we need to have the location ID in the project. Let's just take a look at our relational model here. Yeah, we can see that's the typo. We don't have the location. And so we remove the location foreign key there. All right. Uh, so we have the project ID, name, and department ID. Yeah, that should be okay. Oh, we're missing a semicolon here. Probably going to get an error on that too. Yeah, let's have a look. Let's try to save it and see if it will work inside of my SQL. And let's cross our fingers. We can see that uh, the import has been successfully finished. We have our tables here. We define the structure. We don't have any data in the database. If we take a look at the designer, we have connections, although they are a little bit chaotic though. <laughs> we should be able to somehow make them a little bit better there. Well, that's just a matter of how you want to organize your tables. But we can see here that we have the employee who is working on a project, the many-to-many -many relation. And we have an employee who can manage a department. Uh, we also have a department who can have a manager. And uh, they can all have also have one or more employees. We have the, empl uh, the employee who has um, who has an address and a postal code that refers to this postal code here. And finally, a department who has a location that is referenced down here in this table. So this concludes the um, how we create this SQL script. And as you can see, it is very easy now to make changes to run your script again, if you have any changes or updates. And it's just going to run it again. All right. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye. Uh,